Craig here and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to speed up, clean up and do some maintenance to your WordPress database. Now if you've just built a website then it's very likely that this video is not going to help you whatsoever. Uh, the maintenance and the cleaning of a WordPress database is something that you need to do to websites that are several months old or several years old. And then once you get into a routine, it's a good thing to, you know, go and clean up your database. Now, the website we're looking at right now is thewiseaffiliate.com. It's a website and a domain that I've had since 2009 at least. I've done stuff to this website. I've neglected it. I've come and then added posts, deleted posts, etc. So when I go into my dashboard right now, I have 60 posts. Many posts have been deleted over the years and many posts have been re-edited numerous times because I often create videos and I embed videos into my posts and then I've changed video players and that means going back to your posts and changing the way that they're embedded. So when I do all this, you know, editing, etc., lots of post revisions keep piling up and all of these post revisions, which are created automatically, are stored in your WordPress database. Same goes with all of the content of your website, including comments. Everything is stored in your database. Now, I have the Akismet plugin running, and you can see it's almost blocked 25,000 spam comments. So luckily, they're not all collecting in my database. But if you're the type of person who just leaves, you know, thousands of comments unapproved, well, all of these comments, they are going to be sat inside your WordPress database and probably slow down your entire site. Now, the same goes when you delete a WordPress post. It leaves like the post metadata, etc. That stays in the database and all of this stuff needs to be cleaned up. Or let's say you deleted a post which had, you know, 20 comments. Well, the post will be gone. But these 20 comments, they, they will still remain in the database. So it's a good idea to clean things up. So what we need to do is clean things up. And we're going to do that by going to Plugins, Add New. And the plugin we're going to search for is called WP Cleanup. We're going to hit Search Plugins. It's going to be this first result. You can check out the details if you want. I'm going to hit Install Now and OK. We're going to activate the plugin. And now that it's been activated under settings, we have WP Cleanup. And it's pretty straightforward here. We have these delete, delete buttons, but you have to be careful on what you're deleting. Now, about three months ago, I installed a plugin which deleted all my post revisions, but it would leave a maximum of three revisions. So hundreds of revisions have already been deleted recently, but I Already again, I have 492 revisions. Now, this may be because I'm the type of person that I press publish and then I see a spelling mistake or I want to go edit something and I go back. So that creates a lot more revisions than normal. So that's taken up a whole lot of room. I'm going to delete it. Then we have draft posts. Now, I'm not going to delete my draft posts because I often, I start a post and then I don't finish it, but I fully intend to go back and finish it. Sometimes I even just put my main phrase in the post title and just so that it, you know, the spur of the moment idea, yeah, I want to do a video about that. So I will create a draft post. So I'm not going to delete those. The auto draft, I'll leave that undeleted too. We have some spam comments, trash comments. Both of those are going to be deleted. So now we have the orphan post meta, comment meta, and relationships. I'm not 100% sure what this is. And from what I can work out from my research, this is about uh, post meta from posts that have been deleted. So if I used to have a post which was in the category, category dog training, etc., well, it keeps some of this data because a post used to exist over here. So it tries to you know, keep all of this data. And same with the comment matter too. And the relationships, I've already done this before, so I feel confident enough to delete all of this stuff. Make sure you have a backup before you go delete anything. So the dashboard transition feed. Now, from my research, this is related to cache data that is stored somewhere. 
So we can go ahead and delete that too. So basically what I've done is I've cleaned up all of the unneeded stuff that I don't need. It's a bit like if you use the CC cleaner to clean up all of the temp and junk files on your computer. So that's basically what we've done to our database. So as we scroll further down, we are going to see all of the tables in our database. It's going to give us the size and then we have a button here that will go off and optimize all of the tables. Now keep in mind I have deleted a bunch of stuff, so the size of my database is going to shrink dramatically anyway. But I'm going to press optimize and right now we're at 9358 and we're down to 4,548. So it's pretty much shrunk the size of our database in half. And that should help speed up the performance of our website. Now there are several other ways that you can speed up the performance of your website. And one of them is by making sure that your images are optimized. Now later today, I'm gonna to create another video and show you a neat little plugin that you can use to optimize all of the images on your WordPress website. So keep an eye out for that video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to stay updated. Now, if you're following along to my video and for some reason something has gone wrong and you need help to restore a backup database, please feel free to contact me and I'll gladly try and help you out. Anyway, have yourself a great day.